Interpret the problem statement. A pump is driving water through a 60 meter run of pipe. The temperature is 15 degrees C. The pipe diameter here is 15 centimeters or about one half a foot. The mean velocity is two meters per second and the head loss in this section of pipe from here to here is two meters. Figure out the goals. Goal one is the pressure drop and that would be from section one to section two Goal two is the power to overcome the head loss. Find the relevance. This problem is relevant because engineers often want to know how much power is being used to overcome losses caused by viscosity. Identify the physics. We have viscous flow in this pipe, so that would be energy equation. We are looking for power. This would be the power equation. Excellent. Let's build a solution. In the documentation, Section 1 is here, section 2 is here. Notice that the pump is not included in our system, so the head of the pump will be set equal to zero. To find the pressure drop, apply the energy equation. The goal is right here. Pressure at 1 minus pressure at 2, so there's the goal. The velocity head terms cancel out because velocity V is the same at section 1 and section 2. Pipe is horizontal, we can neglect the elevation heads. The pump is not in our system, so we can neglect that. There's no turbines in our system, and we're left simply with pressure drop is equal to head loss times specific weight. Putting numbers in, the specific weight is 9800 newtons per cubic meter. The head loss is 2 meters, so the pressure drop is 19.6 kPa. Now let's calculate power. For a flowing fluid, power is given by the mass flow rate times the gravitational constant times the head, and in this case this is the head loss, and another way to write this equation is specific weight discharge times head loss. Power is our goal. Specific weight is known. The discharge is given, and the head loss is given. We can now calculate power. Putting numbers in, specific weight, discharge, head loss, the power is 692 watts. Review. The power is about 0 0.9 horsepower. To reduce the power, we would want to select a larger pipe because generally Head loss is proportional to speed squared, so if we selected a larger pipe, the mean velocity would go down. When you want to analyze a viscous flow in a pipe, think of the energy equation. When you want to calculate power associated with a flowing fluid, mass flow rate, gravitational constant, times the head, or specific weight, discharge, times the head, this is the power equation. Hope you enjoyed this solution.